Step one is to find a box to use, a shoe box or a tissue box. Um, either one will work. If you use a tissue box, you need to cut out the top so that it's open. So it's easiest for me to cut from the center to the edges, to the corners, excuse me, and then you can cut the tops off or just fold them inside and you're ready to make your box. So you could cut these off if you wanted to. These are the tools that you will need uh, to make your uh, model covered wagon. You'll need scissors and you'll need either a stapler, uh, some tape, or glue, and I have regular white glue and uh, spray on glue. And the other thing you'll need is something to make circles. And I just happen to have this glass that has a larger circle on top than it has at the base. And that's very convenient because a covered wagon has larger wheels at the back and smaller wheels at the front. So I've already cut out the side of my um, cereal box and when you turn it over you just have nice plain cardboard. We're going to need five ribs to put the covering over our covered wagon and each of them is about the width of your thumb so you can just measure them that way. So you can put the width of your thumb down and put your straight edge out so that you have a nice straight line and draw your piece and then do it again until you have five of these strips marked out. And I actually need to take them all the way. They need to be at least 12 inches long and even a little longer is helpful. Um, which is about the size of a good size cereal box, the length of a good size cereal box. We have our mark where the next rib is going to go, again about an inch into the box, and this time it stays straight across rather than bang out forward. But you do want to have the same height that your first one is. So be sure to check that height and, and have them be the same height. Now we're ready to put the canvas on top of our wagon. I'm using a paper napkin. It needs to be a couple of inches longer than the box on each end and it needs to be long enough to go completely over the sides. And this one is actually too long, I'm gonna to have to cut it off some, but that's all right, it's plenty long. Okay, so um, again, you can glue or staple. I, I think I'm going to glue this time, and I'm going to do that because I can easily tuck the napkin inside and glue it on so that it shows kind of like it would be gathered on the ends, which a real covered wagon would be. So I'm going to put 
a little bit of glue right along the top edge of my box and glue my canvas onto the side. We're ready now to put wheels on our wagon. And for that, I'm using another piece of our uh, cereal box cardboard. And I'm using my cup that has a larger opening on the top and a smaller one on the bottom. It's about three inches across on the top and about two, inch, two and a half inches across on the bottom. And that works about right for our covered wagon here. So I'm going to trace the wheels onto the cardboard and then we'll cut them out. And if you want to make them more realistic looking, you can draw the spokes in the wheels. Otherwise, we'll just put plain rounds for the wheels. If you put the spokes you have a little hole in the middle for the axle and you just draw the spokes out all around. Does it look more like a wheel now? The wheels are ready. We're going to put them on our wagon and I'm going to glue them on. The large ones go to the rear of the wagon and the small ones to the front, so you need to decide what's the rear and what's the front. And putting a glob of glue on your wagon, put the wheel, the back wheel, just a little um, less than halfway across the circle onto the wagon. And the front wheel needs to be further down the way, down than halfway, so that the bottom of the wheels will come to the same place. And they will take a little while to dry. And here we are with our finished covered wagon all ready for the Oregon Trail. And what you could do at this point is get some little doll figures or uh, Playmobil figures or Lego figures, and you could actually make decisions like you were going on the Oregon Trail. So here we are with our finished wagon.